Hey guys, Jem here once again. This time I'm going to be reviewing the second book in the Vampire Academy series, Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. I finished this in only a couple of hours because it was just so good. I rated an 8.5 out of 10 and I just loved it. I just went right through the book. Except I took a nap at one point. But other than that, I flew through the book. It was so great and I can't wait to read the next one. Now, this will be a no-spoilers review, just so I can keep this review short, so I can try to finish the rest of the books I have over spring break, which I have three more days of. Um, so, on to the synopsis. When love and jealousy collide on the slopes, winter break turns deadly. Lisa Dragomir is a Moroi princess, a mortal vampire with a rare gift for harnessing the Earth's magic. She must be protected at all times from Strigoi, the fiercest vampires, the ones who never die. The powerful blend of human and vampire blood that flows through Rose Hathaway, Lisa's best friend, makes her a, da a dampier. Rose is dedicated to a dangerous life of protecting Lisa from the Strigoi, who are hell-bent on making Lisa one of them. Rose has, a serious, Rose has serious guy trouble. Her gorgeous tutor, Dimitri, has his eye on someone else. Her friend Mason has a huge crush on her friend Mason has a huge crush on her, and she keeps getting stuck in her best friend Lisa's head while she's making out with her boyfriend Christian. Then a nearby Strigoi text puts St. Vladimir's on high alert, and the Academy whisks its students away on a mandatory holiday ski trip. But the glittering winter landscape and posh Idaho resort only provide the illusion of safety. When three students as when three students run away to strike a back against the Strigoi, against the deadly Strigoi, Rose must join forces with Christian to rescue them. Only this time, Rose and her heart are in more danger than she could, ever could have imagined. Sorry about the stuttering. It's just like I have this weird um, problem with like CHs, Ss whenever I read out loud for some odd reason. But anyway. The book was absolutely amazing. Um, so Rose, th so there's this attack, a Strigoi attack that kills like a lot of the Muroi royalty, and so um, the Academy is all on high alert, and they all like they round up everybody to go to this one ski resort um, that's for Muroi, so it's like um, safe, and they bring all the guardians and everybody. So while they're there, um, there's a lot of drama that ensues. Um, Rose has this whole guy problem with Dimitri and Mason. And then there's somebody else who comes in, too. And then the whole Christian and Lisa thing, it just makes um, Rose feel a bit um, ignored and abandoned. So she's a bit jealous there. And then... It mostly, um, the book mostly is when they're at the resort, mostly with the boy drama with Rose. But then things start to heat up when there are more Strigoi attacks. And then three of her, um, classmates leave and try to hunt down the Strigoi. Because they had a lead of where they were. In the end, um, things, um, were bad, um... It wasn't really a good ending, but yet at the same time it was. Whatever, what happened um, while the three, well, technically five, because Christian and Rose followed them. Um, something happened to the five that was completely devastating. But yet in the end, it was like a good thing because Rose and Dimitri sort of rekindled their relationship from like the last book. Because remember... Because um, things from the last book were really heating up, but then they had to, like, slow down, and then it was, like, oh, like, um, drama much. And so, a lot of things happen in this book. It's really good. I loved it. Um, and I can't wait to read the next book called Shadow Kiss. So, that's all I really have to say. Sorry about such a short review. But, like, this is just chock full of spoilers if I say so much. But there's just so much drama in it, too.
and I don't want to spoil this. Anyway, I can't wait to read the next book, Shadow Kiss, the third one. And, again, 8.5 out of 10. Then the next book I'm going to be reading, let's see here. Um, Thirst, the first book in, I don't even know how many books this is going to be, but this is the number one in Thirst by Christopher Pike. Then after this, I'm going to be reading Remember Me by Christopher Pike. And then I have another book called, let's see here. Dark Inside by, what's this, Jen, Jane Roberts, so it'll be this, 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 and then I'm going to be reading Forbidden, um, that really, Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma, um, this one I'm really looking forward to reading, because this is my book. And I bought it. And usually authors don't really write about what's in this book. Um, because Forbidden is about incest. And like the whole thing um, there. And so not, not a lot of authors have the guts to do that. To like... Because I've never really read a book that was incest incestuous in it. So I think it'll be interesting. Of, um, it'll be an interesting read. So that's all I have to say. So, um, oh yeah, I also have the um, Vampire Academy review on my channel, so go check that out. And that's all I really have to say. Comment below if you read the Vampire Academy series. Tell me what you thought. If you read the, um, the first book, tell me what you thought. Um, like and favorite. And then subscribe up top. So until next time, bye!